this video, I will share with you how you can use Apollo.io as a lead generation software for your B2B business when it comes to generating a ton of leads very, very fast. I will first of all share with you how you can set up sequences, basically automated emails that we can send out consistently. And after that, we want to generate thousands of leads that matches our ICP, our ideal customer profile. But the third thing, which is AI, how can you use AI to personalize emails to be more efficient when it comes to cold email? Because you need to use this, especially in today's age where everyone is uh, using it. If you're not using it, well, you are getting behind. So for those of you who do not know me, which is probably most of you, my name is August Tains and I'm a Danish entrepreneur who have been doing B2B client acquisition for the past three years now. And for those of you who just want everything implemented for you, we have a client acquisition system where we help you build up a client acquisition channel in your business. So you'll keep on booking meetings on your calendar consistently and close clients. So for those of you who just want to do that, click on the link below and watch our free training video on that. So first off, you want to go ahead and use the link down in the description in regards to signing up to Apollo. There's a lot of benefits whenever you're signing up with a link. So first off, you want to go ahead and sign up with your work email. So in my case, I'm just going to use a burner email that I have. So I'm now logged into Apollo. And then you're going to just skip all of this and then get started now. Set up for success. I will do that later. So just skip that. And now you're getting into the software. So the first thing that we wanted to go ahead and do is we want to go up and upgrade. We have the free version right now, which means that you can still try out everything and see how, how good it is. And then you can always upgrade. We have the professional version just because it's so much worth it. And we're actually spending a lot of money on lead generation every single month, but it's totally worth it. The return on investment on cold email compared to any other client acquisition channel for B2B is way higher, like way, 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 way higher. So we're spending a lot of money on lead generation and, and cold email in general, but it's nothing compared to the ROI that we have uh, on that. You can just use the free version in regards to just testing out everything, and then you can upgrade as you need more and more features. So now I want to go ahead and click on the link up here. And I want to start by setting up a sequence. That's the first thing that we want to do because otherwise we cannot generate leads. We want to figure out who, what we want to send out in regards to who we want to send it out to. So that's the first step. So you're clicking on, you want to link the mailbox because we're sending out from your email. We cannot send out from Apollo right here. In my case, I'm going to link it with this email right here. And I'm going to click on, I will comply. And you want to allow everything. So now we have linked the email. So now we can start sending out from those emails. And the more emails that you want to send every single day, the more mailboxes you need to connect uh, to Apollo. We can roughly send out anywhere from 50 to 100 emails per email that you set up. That means if you want to send out 500 emails per day, you probably want to send up 10 accounts. In my case, I'm, I'm using 60 accounts to send from because I want to send 3,000 emails every single day personally. So mainly what you want to do is you would just want to create a new sequence. You want to click on from scratch, Apollo. And then I want to go after apparel brands in the US. That's what I want to call the campaign. So first off, you want to go ahead and add a new step. In my case, I'm going to use automatic email because it's just the most simple. You don't have to do any manual work. It's about automating as much as possible so you can be as efficient as possible with your time. So automatic emails are, are quite important uh, instead of you having to manually do everything yourself. So when to start this step, you want to go do this 30 minutes after the contact is added. So you do not want to send this immediately. So you can always change something before you start sending out to a lead that is maybe not supposed to be sent out to. So now we want to go ahead and generate the first step in the email sequences that we want to want to make. And in, in regards to the subject line, I want to show you our framework when it comes to building very, very good emails now. In regards to subject lines, you want to use something that awakens their curiosity, but you do not want to share what is inside of the email, if that makes sense. So uh, an example could be quick question for company name. Again, this is very, very saturated. A lot of people are using this already, but you get the point, right? You want to make some curiosity based a subject lines to ensure that they're actually opening the email. And subject line is quite important because if they do not open the email, well, they will not see what you have to offer to them. It's the same thing with the thumbnail and the title in the YouTube videos, quite important because otherwise you're not going to see a content if you do not click on the video, right? So quick question for company name and our framework is intro icebreaker. Then you want a offer plus guarantee if you have one slash personalization. And I'm going to show you in the end how you can personalize using AI uh, inside of this uh, inside of Apollo. Then we have offer plus guarantee, and then we have trust. How can we back up the offer that we just made? And then we have a call to action and then signature down at the bottom. That's how we want to structure our emails. That's the framework. You want to make it very simple, and you want to make it very very concise, short, uh, and simple and sweet. You do not want to make it very, very long because if it seems overwhelming, your prospects will not even read the email. Right? You want to be make it very, very short and concise and easy to read. You do not want to make it long. Uh, longer and bigger is not better. In this case, you want to make it very, very short and concise and easy to understand. A 10-year-old should be able to understand what you're writing inside of this email. So you want to say something like, hey, and then you want to click on the variable, add dynamic variables, and you want to click on the first name right here. So now we want to add the icebreaker slash personalization, a personalization line. So, so the more specific you go and scrape your emails, 
Uh, the more specific you can make the campaign. So you can make a campaign for each and every single niche that you're targeting out. So icebreaker and personalization, you want to write something personal, but you also want to make it scalable as well. Because if you want to really scale this channel up, you want to make it scalable at the same time. In my case, I'm just gonna write something generic that you can write to every single lead that we're sending out to, but you can go way more personal. The more personal you make it, the higher chance there is that you're getting a response because people can see that you took uh, effort out of your day in order to send an email to them instead of just sending the same uh, template over and over. So I want to write something like found you on LinkedIn. Found you on LinkedIn, we're looking for a pair of brands in, and what you can do is you can make it more personal by in, and then you can put in add dynamic variables down here. And then you can add some things, for example, uh, in California or in San Francisco, if you want to look at the, the, the city, so we can make it more personal. And then you have the offer guarantee. In my case, I'm gonna sue, we help power bands increase. And then you wanna in, you wanna put in the dynamic variables for the state, in my case, ability by 20% in 90 days, or you do not pay a single penny. So we have a guarantee and risk reversal, meaning that it, this is a cold friendly offer that we can send it out to anyone and people would be interested in hearing more just on the fact that we have a guarantee that will risk reverse whatever we are stating in the email. So in our case, we guarantee a 20% increase. You do not need to use guarantees. We have a lot of people who are using them, which means that um, it's quite saturated. You do not want to make the offer like anyone else, but this is just an example that you can use some, uh, some guarantees in regards to risk reversing um, your prospects to work with you. So they would be more willing to jump on a call with you because there's no risk from their side. So we have the offer plus guarantee right here. We help the parents increase profitability by 20% or you don't pay using our advanced four-step email system. We say our brands, clients include clients A, C, and then you want to click on B here as well. So client C, you just want to put in some case studies in regards to some previous clients that you have helped. So we just helped X client increase their profitability by 25% in this case. So you just want to put in the offer here in regards to what exactly you're offering. Then you want to put in trust because a lot of people promise shit on the internet. What makes you different is that you actually have case studies and proof to back it up. But yeah, you should have some case studies. That should be your most important task as a CEO of your B2B business because that's what makes you stand out in any niche by having a lot of case studies and a lot of proof that you can actually deliver on the, the offer that you are stating in the email or in the uh, in the marketing messaging that you're doing. Then we have a call to action, make it short and concise. Got 30 minutes for a Zoom to explore how, achieve similar, and just want to use the variables down here in the bottom. Apollo, and then signature down in the bottom. In my case, it's just going to be August, CEO, Martin Vadaio, something like that. And you can also make a signature, go into settings and make a signature if you want to do that. But that's our email. Let's just say that you got to give the point right. You want to, first of all, have an intro, icebreaker, offer plus guarantees, trust, call to action, signature, and that's it. Don't make, a, make it too complicated. This is what we've seen work best in the past three years that I've been doing cold email. So this is the first sequence. If people do not respond back to this sequence, we will send a second step and a third step and a fourth step. So in the follow-up emails, you want to have the same thing. You want to have an intro. You want to have a sum up of the offer. You do not need a personalization or icebreaker in this case because you've already done that. And then you want to have trust on the offer and then you want to have a call to action and then signature down the bottom. So it's the same thing over and over again. Remember to sum up everything so people can remember what you said in the previous email. It's quite important. But now it's time to pretty much find uh, people for this sequence right here because we obviously need someone to set it out to. And the beautiful thing about Apollo is that everything is inside of one platform, meaning that uh, you don't even have to go out on uh, in other places to actually generate leads. No, you can do it in the same platform. So you want to go ahead and click on uh, add contacts right here, a prospect searcher. One other thing that you can do in, in regards to finding this is you want to click on search up here, click on people. And the good thing about Apollo, another benefit about Apollo is that they scrape personal emails. It's quite important that they, you do not send out emails to the company email, but you actually send it out to a personal person from the company. Because then you're making it way more personal, making them way more willing to respond back to you compared to if you're sending out to the info at company name uh, email.com. It's quite important that you send it out to the decision maker of the company so you can keep the personalization personalized between you and them. If you're generating leads from another software where you cannot find uh, the personal emails, I would strongly recommend you to hire a virtual assistant, basically a third world person to find these emails manually. Because cold email is not going to work if you just use the company emails. No, you need to find the personal emails. So in our case, I want to find the location. In the first case, we want to use the uh, United States because that's the one to want to contact. Then we want to click on the employees. One important thing why you need to click on employees, the amount of employees that they have. If they have over 20 people in, in the company, they most likely have an in-house team for whatever you're offering in most cases. So you want to ensure that the companies are not too big in order for you to even be able to help them. What we typically do is we'd use, use a custom range 
between uh, anywhere from three to 25 employees. If you are going after the people with one employee, then it means it is a one-man army. And, and we have a lot of those one-man armies that does not make sense to contact just on the fact that they do not have any revenue right now. So it's very, very hard for you to help them. When I click on the industry, Pell, confession, because that's what, what we want to contact. If you want to upgrade this, you can uh, click on technologies right down here and then put in Shopify. If you're looking for brands who are doing Facebook ads already, then you can do, go down and find the tool in technologies. You can find the tool of Facebook conversion API. So you can see if they already have a Facebook pixel installed. So they're actually already spending money on Facebook ads because then it's easier for you to go in and help them. So in my case, I'm just going to use these three things. I'm also going to go after top job titles. In my case, I want to go after the owner. I want to go after the manager. I want to go after the director. I want to go after the founder and owner, co-founder. And now you can find a lot of emails right here. So what we want to go ahead and do is we just want to click on, we just want to choose 25 people and max people a company is you just want to click on one. You do not want to contact multiple people because that's unprofessional. Apply selection. If you're not sending out from Apollo, but you want to send it out from a different software like uh, instantly, or you want to contact them on other platforms, um, well, then you can just go ahead and click on export here. And then you can add it to a sequence or you can just export all the emails and you will receive it over an email. But in my case, I'm just going to add it to a sequence that we've already set it up. So I want to add it to the sequence of uh, Apollo Apparel US. So you want to go ahead and click on the email right here. And then you want to click on save. And if you want to send out like thousands, if you want to add thousands of uh, emails at the same time, you just want to upgrade your platform so you can like uh, choose 10,000 different records instead of only 25. Because there's a limit whenever you're on the free version. Just have to be aware of that. But if you want to upgrade it, you can just test it out. And then afterwards, if you can see how valuable this software is, then you can just go ahead and upgrade the software. In my case, we've just added some sequences. In your case, you know, you can fill out everything. It's so accurate, this software. Use as many data points as possible and make the campaigns as specific as possible in regards to what we're filling out here. Also, another thing is that you want to be careful not to fill out too much. Because if you're filling out too much, you're maybe missing out on someone who could actually potentially be interested in whatever you're offering. So be careful not to filter out too much in the apology. So now we're gonna go ahead and click on the engage right here, sequences, and you can go ahead and click on activate the sequence right here. So now you have activated the sequence and we're starting to send out emails from the Apollo software, which is super, super cool. In under 20 minutes, we have set it up a, um, a complete sequence. We are starting doing marketing. You cannot do this anywhere else. Cold email and advertising is the only two scalable solutions when it comes to B2B um, client acquisition. You cannot do it through Instagram because there's so many limits. Same thing with LinkedIn, there's so many limits. Cold email and paid advertising is the only scalable solutions when it comes to a client acquisition for B2B businesses like your uh, company and my company. If you're not doing that right now, you, I would strongly recommend you to uh, to go to those platforms because it is not scalable. It's going to be a logistical nightmare to scale up a cold calling team or scaling up your Instagram outreaches because you need to set up fake accounts. It's just going to be a mess. Trust me, I've tried it multiple times. Now I'm going to share with you how you can use AI in regards to personalizing your emails in here. So at a step, you can only use it for manual email right now. As you're watching this video, you can probably use AI in regards to generating uh, your emails. So first of all, I want to show you something quite cool about the software. So you want to click on automatic email right here. In my case, we are always waiting two days after we have sent out the first email if they have not responded already. So you want to click on automatic email, con continue right here. And now we just want to use a founder right here just so we can see. So you want to click on generate AI assistant down here and then generate email. So we want to make a follow up right here. And now you want to specify your company exactly what your company is doing. So in my case, it's called marketer.io. So what we offer, we can see a 20% increase in profitability using advanced email marketing to build a loyal fan base around your brand that will never stop buying from you. Pain points, stop chasing one-time customers with hate ads where the TPM prices are only increasing, build up a loyal fan base that keep buying from you, you can get way more profit. You want to have a call to action down here, a 30 minute Zoom call. And now you just want to click on enter and then it's generated in the email. So first of all, we have this one. Again, AI is quite new to this. So uh, we do not use AI, but you can use it in regards to sparking some ideas in regards to what your copywriting should be. And then you can choose something of this. This is just to spark your ideas or you can just, uh, or you can use this if you really want to try it out. Trust me, it's not going to be as good if you just made the email from scratch. It's totally worth it. And you can set up this very, very quickly. I do not want to use this, but uh, this is a good way in regards to how you can use AI to start 
generating emails. Now I want to try another step because we can also make personal first liners. Delay for two days after we've sent the previous step. So you can only do this if you are upgrading the plans to the professional plan so you can make the manual emails and then you can write personalized first liners. But again, the AI, it's, it's not the best in the world right now. I would still recommend you to do that in, in hand or write it yourself. And in the future, AI can hopefully be sophisticated enough and um, personal enough in order to write these personal first liners so people cannot uh, see the difference between you and a robot or a artificial intelligence. So that's how you use AI. I would strongly recommend you to use the software right here. We're using another software to send from using instantly. You know you can use a ton of other softwares to send out from, but everything is assembled in one place in, uh, in Apollo.io. Strongly recommend you to test it out of the software. We're booking roughly five meetings every single day using cold email. So that's roughly anywhere from 60 to 100 meetings every single month, consistently using cold email as our sales channel. So you can do the same thing if you just follow our steps. You know, we have a ton of videos about doing cold email and doing client acquisition, doing advertising in general, in regards to making client acquisition your smallest problem instead of the biggest problem in your, in your business. So you will never have an issue getting clients again for your business because it's really not a problem whenever you start learning how you can uh, communicate and get people on the call with you. It's very, very simple whenever you get to that point. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel. If you are a B2B business that are looking to just get everything implemented for you together with us, then we have a program where we're teaching you how to build up a highly profitable client acquisition channel that will book anywhere from three to five meetings every single day on your, on your calendar on autopilot. And we're using this system every single day ourselves. So click on the link down below if you want to, to hear more about that. Subscribe to our channel down below and I will see you in the future.